Good morning, welcome to a new update and as you can see without a camera as I'm still at my parents but we have to discuss Bitcoin and the levels to watch here as there's lots of uncertainty and fear in the markets right now through which you probably don't know what's going to happen nobody knows what's going to happen should you be buying back into the markets that's the big question as well so in this update we'll just discuss Bitcoin and Ethereum and the levels to watch for the markets overall but before that do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and also do not forget to follow me on twitter and instagram as there i'll be posting daily content on the markets as well so when we are looking at the markets we do know that we've had this big crash to the downside on bitcoin and while you're looking at the price action during this heavy crash south the exchanges were not working at all they were fading um, futures was wasn't working at all also altcoins were went way further down on the future positions than on spot exchanges for instance uh, the graph dropped to like 75 cent on spot and on the futures it dropped to like 63 um, giving us a very heavy negative funding but also during that crash many traders were not able to actually trade at all through which this crash happens and happened and caused a deeper wick than we actually wanted and as a conclusion we should state or realize that those heavy wicks um, at the end of a run is being caused by leverage trading so when we go back towards may uh, that's this heavy crash that we have here we've seen the exact same we've seen a very heavy crash happening because of liquidations on the futures positions and liquidations on over leverage trading positions that's also what we saw in april in the first crash south uh, that's what we saw in may at 12th and the heavy crash to 28k on the futures uh, that was ha caused or happening at the 19th of may that also triggered by was also triggered by binance not working at all and the coinbase api um, that resulted in the actual same outcome during the crash in may Bitcoin crashed to 28k, but for instance, Polkadot and Chainlink, they crashed more than 50% on a day, just because of over leverage positions. So, what are the levels to watch? Well, if we are looking at the daily structure, then this bearish divergence might become in play or is in play already, as the structure that we used to have is currently failing as a new structure, it means that we wanted to continue moving upwards we wanted to continue making higher lows higher highs uh, but we dropped below 47k um, and we also dropped below it today meaning that there is all the levels that we should be watching for a potential support play <laughs> so in that perspective you have to zoom out to see where the crucial levels are lying at this stage and when you are watching the crucial levels um, from the higher time frames, then you can conclude or draw yourself a conclusion that 43 to 44k is the level to watch. We also dipped into that support zone, and that is actually the level that we should be watching in order to see at least a bounce happening. When we do get a bounce, you want to clearly flip above 47k once again. Then the next step is once again breaking above 50k, but it's not likely that it will ha be happening in one go. It's more likely that we hold 44k, bounce to 50, come back down, and then we start to crawl back up once again. So at this stage, you have to start zooming out if you want to start swing trading. You have to be relaxed on your position sizes, given the fact that there's so much uncertainty and there's also FUD uh, regarding Coinbase and the SEC. But there's also just unclarity on where the markets are going to head from here. So there's no reason to actually go crazy on the positions. When we're looking at the lower time frames, the structure shows that we've lost support here. We've lost the 46.5k level we, we were bouncing on, this entire support level from this range low. So therefore, if we want to have the run to 50k, we have to bounce back above 46 and a half. We also start or try to build a bullish divergence here. So on the downside, the level to watch for Bitcoin is 43 to 44. On the upside, on the lower time frames, 46.5 is the level to watch. We might be getting something like this. And then we start to reverse. If we do break above 46 and a half, you can see that there is not much in between. So most likely if 46.5K is flipping, 
a retest of 50k is going to happen through which what's going most likely going to happen too is that you are getting bullish at the markets when it, we get into this range well actually i'd rather want to start looking for longs in this region on the markets for bitcoin at this stage given the fact that we've just witnessed a 20 percent correction and when we're looking at corrections we can also look at solana and we've discussed the levels to watch and yesterday uh, we got to the first level which gave us a bounce and yes it gave it went up way heavier from that perspective shows how interested everyone is in the markets for solana but given this heavy correction and that we are facing this first level of support once again i'd like to trigger a potential long based for a bounce play so when we're zooming out some more on solana at this stage we might be concluding that the run is over and we're going to consolidate and through that consolidation i'd want to start looking for day and scalp trades in the levels that we have derived here so those levels are still standing i might not be hitting it but once it gets into the range between 80 to 110 definitely i'll be looking for swing trades slash investment opportunities if i was interested in solana final coin i'd like to discuss is cardano which bounced from the level that we wanted it to be bouncing from and yes the markets are currently giving us a corrective move in which we are retesting that low once again but when we're looking at the lower time frames we could be deriving a fact where this entire region around two dollars ten to nine one dollars ninety five is actually the level to watch i've concluded in earlier versions that i'm not interested in cardano around three bucks and i've closed a big portion of my trade there but right now, in this region between $1.95 and $2.10, I'm getting interested in Cardano again, and I was filled as my bids were placed there. If you want to follow me in my trades, do not forget to become a member on our website, which you can find in the link beneath. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you again on a later moment today, where I'll be updating the markets as the markets are granting ourselves some interesting opportunities. Have a wonderful day, and see you later.